everybody, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all okay. I hope you've all had a good weekend. This is the first video of this week. I don't know how many I'm going to get done this week, but I'm going to try and get a couple done at least. Um, what have we been up to this weekend? Uh, I've been decluttering this weekend, the pantry. I started it on Friday and then I finished it. Well, I finished it off today. Uh, did a little bit at the weekend on it, but we were mainly sorting bits and pieces out at home and just enjoying the weekend, really. So, um, we didn't really go and I had to go get some coal with hubby, so we went and got some coal. Um, but other than that, yeah, life, just life, just carries on, doesn't it, day to day. Anyhow, welcome back if you are a subscriber. And if you haven't, if you haven't subscribed as yet, please do. It will really help me uh, spread the word about things that we're covering and things like that. And if you share with your friends and, and things. Today's video is going to be about um, a what's in my handbag video. Now, if any of you um, do a video along the same lines, I'd really appreciate it if you mention um, my channel in it. Um, I have seen this on a couple of videos from America oh, a few years ago. Um, I haven't seen any recently, so I thought we'd, it was time to give it another another airing, if you like. So it's my first time at doing the What's in My Handbag. I think they call it What's in My Purse in America. I haven't actually been to America, so I'm not sure, but I think it's What's in My Purse. And I think their purse is called a wallet. Like we call it a purse, they call it a wallet, and I think the handbag thing is a purse. Oh, totally confusing. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so give the thumbs up if you like the video at the end. If you've got any comments or there's any video requests that you're wanting to do, um, that you want me to do, please write it in the comment box below. Please also hit the notification bell somewhere on here, down here, somewhere, so that you don't miss any new videos I'm trying to do or my aim is to try to do a couple of uh, two to three a week at least um, I'm trying to hit 50,000 no I'm not <laughs> I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers this year thought that'd shock you uh, so that's my goal for this year to hit a thousand subscribers and I'd really appreciate it if you could help me get there so without further ado let's start now one thing I have to say hand on heart scouts on her dib dib and all that kind of thing i have not done i have not gone through my handbag or anything so it's up here this is exactly if my handbag lives in my pantry so this is as i've took it out uh, on the top of it as you can see there's a a face mask visor should i say um so my visor is the handy for when I go out shopping. If I go out shopping, well, if I need it, if anybody pops to the door, I can just grab it quickly, which is why I just keep it on top. Now, this is my handbag. This one I purchased ooh, a few years ago. My mum gave me some money for Christmas, and I got this from ashika.com. Um, it's real suede, and it comes out every autumn, and I use it all winter, all the time, shopping, whatever i'm doing this handbag is it so there's a zip on the back here and then we've got a zip the big zip on the top it's got a cross body strap or a shoulder strap however you want to use it there's a little tassely thing here handbag charm tassel so we'll start with the back pocket so if i just open it like so and put my hand in and grab everything and then we'll go through what's in. So, let's see. I've got the dog on my knee as well, so it's a bit difficult. Anyhow, what I'll do, as I'm getting things out, I'll pop them back in where they went. Ooh. So, that what I've just dropped is a toothpick. So that can go back in. Um, nail glue, for if one of my nails pops off. A lipstick from Avon. I keep looking over here because I'm used to the camera being over here but on this I'm on my iPad and my camera's at this side and I'm sorry I'm all bunged up for some reason or I seem to be bunged up. So that one is in toasted rose colour. Whoops! I don't know why I've got two in here. Oh my goodness three. <laughs> so I've got toasted rose. I'll leave that on the table. I haven't sorted this as I say so you will see God knows what's in. Blush Nude, 
Because hey, they're all very similar colours, aren't they? And this one is... Well, that's a bit different. That's Pout. Now, they are all neutrally colours. I've got to tell you now, before I put a red lipstick on to record this, oh, I, I, was, I did a test video on the, on the iPad and I thought, oh my lord, that looks awful. I did it, deleted it, did it, deleted it. I thought, no, I need to take the lipstick off. It's the lipstick that's causing me the issue. <laughs> I'm that used to wearing these nudie colours that I don't, I really don't like it. Any other colour. Now also in my side pocket, I put my bits that I need to get hold of quickly. I have got two tubes, I don't know why there's two in here, of Aura Gel. Now I broke my tooth, um, not last August, the August before, uh, and I'm still waiting for it sorting out. I went to the dentist, I did try and take it out. Three times I've, they've tried to take it out, but they can't get it numb. It's the big bottom one here, and they can't get it numb. So they referred me to um, this dental clinic that uh, were going to sedate me to, to see if that would help. I had the maximum cocaine that, I, that they, were, they were allowed to give me. Um, I think I had eight injections, and it still weren't numb. So they wouldn't they wouldn't do it anyway and they said that the sedation may help with the last bit of the so i didn't you know so that I, I mean you know you still feel it but you don't remember it do you so i'd much rather be asleep i just wish they'd send me to be asleep at the hospital but anyhow um so anyway this the clinic rang me up and they said they couldn't do it for at least two years what and then the other the guy they said to me to go back to the dentist and tell the dentist that the anaesthetist that they would use to do the sedation is the same de anaesthetist that they'd use at the hospital. So I might as well be referred to the hospital as to them. So I've now to asked my dentist, been back to the dentist, ask them if they will refer me to the hospital. So that's nearly a year ago. So this was the first year was all that palaver. And now the hospital, I'm waiting for the hospital. And it does flare up. So if it looks sometimes that like I'm holding my face a bit, mm, like this, and it's niggling me a little bit. But anyhow, we'll get there eventually, um, I'm sure. <laughs> so that not this Aura Gel, Max Strength, this I rub on my gum if it's hurting because it numbs it. It's got lidocaine, oh no, benzocaine in it. Um, so that just numbs the gum a little bit and stops it hurting as much. So those are in my pocket of my handbag, don't go anywhere without those. And then also in here I have got throat lozenges, um, Beecham's all in one strength, max strength, sulfidine headaches and another Beecham's. I don't know why I've got two packs of Beecham's things in there. There's one left in there, I'll take that one out and I'll keep the others with me. So yeah, that's in case I get a headache or obviously the Beecham's is when I had, I had a bit of a bug the other week and I felt shocking so yes so that's what that is uh, and then the last thing in the side pocket is the pen so that's that I'll pop those back in there and put just one of the lipsticks it don't really matter which one because they're all very similar okay right now inside there is a side pocket a little pocket should I say security pocket are they called something like that right let's see now you're going to see that I haven't done anything Whoop. I haven't cleared this out. So, I've got a bit of paper for the bin. McDonald's sashes of salt. Another pen. Pop that back in. Three bar extra strong minis. Listerine go tabs. They're like mouthwash. Um, it says whole mouth clean and fresh feeling on the go. Chew, swish, swallow. I haven't used them yet, but you know sometimes, I don't know, sometimes you just feel like you've got a really bad taste in your mouth. That's what I got those for. Tissue, that can go in the bin. More salt, I'll leave them in there in case we need to get a sandwich or anything while we're out and need salt. And another nail glue. I don't actually know if there's any. Yes, there is some in that. So the tissue can go in the bin. Hey, oh, it's a good way of cleaning your handbag out, this girls and boys. Right, next is my purse. 
Now I did empty that of all the receipts and things at the weekend. Cause it was absolutely it wasn't shut because there was that many blooming receipts wedged in there from Christmas. Anyway, I emptied that out of the weekend. So that's in there. And then in this little pouch, I have got what have I got? Emery board and ham cream. Oh, and a pound coin. <laughs> That'll be for my trolley if I ever get stuck. So I'll leave that in there. That keeps those together neatly in there. Maybe I ought to put the tablets in there. What do you think? Yeah, I might do that. So this was a little pouch that I got for Christmas. I love rose gold and sequins and, and the blush pink are all my colours. I absolutely love these colours. So that can stay. I'll pop it up there for now. Oh, I'm so bummed up, I'm sorry. And if you can hear snoring, it's the dog is snoring. And then this little purse has got um, some Christmas money in that. I've got left from Christmas, but if I see anything that I want to buy with that. Packet of tissues. I hope you've all got a drink, by the way. Um, I'm just going to have a little drink of this before we carry on. You can see that lipstick look on there. Oh, my Lord, it was horrible. Well, it was horrible on me. It didn't suit me. So, anyway, it's gone. Sunglasses. Can't drive without those in the, especially the winter sun. Don't you think the winter sun is really low? And it, oh, I suffer badly with headaches. And I've only got to get a glimpse of that winter sun in my eyes, and my head's like whoosh, horrendous. Gloves. We all need our gloves when we're shopping. So that's those. Glasses. This is my spare glasses that I always keep in my handbag um, for when I go shopping. Because it's, it's sod's law, I need to look at the ingredients or something on one of the things. And if I haven't got spare glasses with me, one of the things I'm buying, if I haven't got spare glasses with me, I can't see it at all. And I'm like, oh, hey, you know, and your arm's not quite long enough. <laughs> Anyhow, keep them in there. I've learnt. Tape measure. I have uh, keep this in. I, do you know the amount of times that I've needed this is unbelievable. So take one tip from this, girls. Get yourself a mini tape measure and put it in your handbag. Whether it's to measure, um, I don't know how long, or how wide a headband is, or whether it's to measure a curtain pole, whether it's to measure a piece of wood, whether it's to measure whatever it's to measure. I've used this hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times and I'm always thankful that it's in the bottom of my handbag. It's only a little tiny one. It's not, um, I think it goes up to, where are we? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it does go to 60, 60 inches, this, which is 150 centimetres. I've got another little one that goes up to about 40 centimetres, I think, so it's about that long. But that goes up to um, 60 inches, so that's good. This I did get from home baggers a couple of years ago. I can remember getting it. And to, you just pull it out and it stays out. And then if you put it back in, you press, there's a little release thing there. Press there. Anyhow, yeah. So get yourself a little tape measure. If you take one tip from me. Oh, that's some perfume. Do you carry your perfume in your handbag? I'm forever spraying perfume. So this is the one of the cheaper ones from... Um, Home baggage. I did a review, uh, I did a thing about these on another video. Smell really nice. I think the na well, the 99p, I think there's four or five different ones. I did buy one of each one. Mor uh, Morris. <laughs> McDonald's pepper, that can go in the little side bit. Another salt. I don't know where that one's from, but anyway, it's a salt. Elastic band. I'm sure you were. Uh, Mums with young kids have got all sorts in your bags as well. And I've got another little pouch here. My friend bought me this from um, when they went on a world cruise. They bought me this back from somewhere abroad. I can't remember where she'd said it were from. And in there is this mask. This mask is clean and what is in there. But the two, I've just washed these two. So these are both clean and ready to go 
they've got no filters in and they're ready to go in my little pouch so all those in there are three masks in there that are all fresh all clean and then i know the ones then in here are clean and then if i take one out then i just either keep it hung around my wrist till i get home to wash it or I just pop it loose in my bag but at least i know that the ones in here are clean ones so that that's fine i have got a little tiny impulse can in here in very pink flavor fragrance another hand cream i don't think i need another one in there so i'll leave that out actually <laughs> i have got a hand sanitizer this is a really good one the life boy one um it's it's really nice it doesn't go sticky on your hands so it dries really really quickly as well i've got some old receipts in here i told you i haven't gone through this bag bits of paper i've got another hand sanitizer that's to go in my car i've just filled that up um so that wants to go in my car which is why it is in there um i have got another hand sanitizer in here just in case i run out of the other one so that can go back in there i've got another bit of receipts here put them up there uh, more tissues in there never have too many poo bags i think i've got these in every single handbag that i own and every pocket of every coat that i own in case i'm out with the dogs and then i also use be using this whenever i go out of the house um i use this cold and flu guard which protects and prevents it says for mouth and nose mouth and nose i'm sorry i'm really nasally um what you do with this you spray one spray up each nostril and one in your mouth and um i did go through this on one of my shopping hauls and it says um that where's it gone just bear with me a minute uh, da, 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 da. Repeat two to three times a day when exposed to cold and flu viruses and that the, uh, or at the first sign of a cold. Continue to use throughout the exposure to colds and flu viruses and continue to use two days after symptoms subside. So I use this before I go shopping to help, help with a bit of extra protection against the coronavirus and then when I come back I use it again and then... Um, the day after as well but th that's it then unless i have got a cold and then i would use it as well for two days afterwards like it says so this helps to prevent you from getting cold and flu and because coronavirus is a virus i do use this as a as a preventative as well i'm not saying this will stop it coming but it might reduce your risk to it i don't know it's not proven um but anything's worth a try so that's that that stays in there i've also got a i don't really know what these are called i have it around whenever i go out i put it on and then i take it off and wash it and then i pull it i have it around my neck and then if if i've got the the, the shield the face shield on i pull it up here so that it's covering my nose and mouth um and then I have the visor on as well and then when I come out of the shop I'll pull it down and take the visor off but if I have the face mask on then obviously I don't wear, wear it but they're also very good at keeping your neck warm as well snood isn't it I think it's a snood I think that's what they're called but anyhow that was from home bargains as well and there's a pen top in the bottom of my bag what else is in there nothing else in there um, I've done that pocket there's two little pockets at the side here which are open pockets what's in that one? Oh, that's a perfume atomizer as well perfume atomizer I can't smell that so I don't know what's uh, what's in it but I'll pop that back in and then the other little pocket which I think is a foam pocket is oh, another salt <laughs> I took it you guess we like salt um concealer and i'll tell you why that's in there in a second more salt oh my goodness and there oh there's a couple of receipts oh another salt there 
and a couple of receipts here as well. That one's from these are oldish ones because they're from TK Maxx, well, they closed, aren't they? Um, this was September. Oh, crikey, Moses. Told you I hadn't cleaned the bag out. And that's a Matalan, well, I haven't been in there for quite a long while. That's September as well. So, they can go in the bin as well. And the pen top can go in the bin. So, that's it. Bag empty, apart from the things I put back in the side pocket. So, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And um, I said to you that I was going to be doing a haul. Uh, no, whatever. I said I was going to be doing a video about saving money and use having less food waste um, because I hate food waste. Um, I am working on that at the moment. I'm doing some notes of what to include and things for you. So that will be coming in the not too distant future. So let me know if there's anything else that you would like me to do a video on. Um, I have done a pantry clear out um, and I will, I'm going to see if I can use this editing suite that's on my iPad. So I've been told that's a good editing thing to use. I will give it a go. I don't know if I'll manage it. So what I did, I did a video of the before on the pantry and then I did afterwards it's if I can splice them together and see so you can see before and after I'm also going to be doing a video on um, decluttering the house 10 items I don't know to do 10 items per day but I don't think that seems like a lot or if it should be 10 items per room per day then that might be too much I don't know so I'm thinking what I'm going to do is rather than do I might do 10 items in one day to start with and see how long the video is and then maybe put it all together if I can use this editing thing put it all together um, and do a 10 item uh, per room per day over a week or maybe 10 items in one room and then 10 items in another room and maybe 20 or whatever and see how long the video is because I don't want it to go on like for an hour if I'm doing 10 items per room per day it'll go on forever so I think I'm going to do that um, and upload the first one and see how we get on with 10 items from one room as a minimum 10 do not have to be 10 exactly so minimum 10 it could be 20 it could be 15 whatever um, and do it like that I think um, let me know what you think in the comment box below um, and then yeah so and that then will mean I'm also decluttering the house and getting rid of all the rubbish for when we move but what I'd like to do is to fully declutter each room so I need to have a bit of a ponder and figure out how I'm going to do that whether I'm going to do it all in one room or different rooms a little bit at a day but I'll feel like I'll never get to end of anything if I do it like that I think I think I need to do it as do one room and however many items each day till that room's done. So say if it's the kitchen, maybe do 10 items on the Monday and 15 on the Tuesday and 40 on the Friday and, and then put it all together as one, but on individual days on one video. And I think that'll be best because then I think I'll feel like I've achieved something because I've decluttered one room, if that makes sense. <laughs> it does in my mind anyway. So... Yeah, might do it like that. Um, I have decluttered a lot this week, uh, Friday and today, because I've done, as I say, I've done the pantry. We've been to the tip. That's another thing we've done this week. I've been to the tip and taken um, how many boxes we took? One, two, a big box full of just stuff um, out of the pantry, and also two big sacks as well um, and today have filled another big box with glasses and stuff odd glasses and glasses that we don't use and you c there's only two of us so we don't need hundreds of blooming glasses in the cupboard um, so I've took loads of glass took a load of glasses out and flasks I've loads of different flasks and things for some reason and you know like the little flasks 
uh, and then because hubby takes a flask to work but he's got a big flask and then we've got all these little flasks and we're never going to use them they've been in a box in the pantry like a storage box thing for probably 18 months and never been moved so they're not going to get used are they so anyway i've sorted all those out those have got they've all gone apart from one spare you know the thermos um cup things uh, so you can take a coffee with you out and it keeps it insulated so well, there's a spare one of them hubby takes one of them as well and then uh, i've kept a spare one and that's it they've gone um so i reckon and i've done so i've done that in a box uh full of glasses and then um i've thrown oh got rid of loads of food jars of stuff that's out of date pickles uh sauces all sorts of things uh, so glass my recycling box is full of glass bottles and jars and things uh, so I've done really well this week uh, this weekend Friday today um, of getting rid of stuff out of the pantry so then that spurs me on then to want to do the rest of the kitchen now I have got a horrendous corner cupboard in the kitchen that's full of plastics plastic boxes plastic dishes lids some with lids some without lids oh and then also in there there's things like gravy jugs that you don't use very often and big plates that you don't use very often and i've got an ice cream maker in there and oh they haven't been touched for about two three years in this cupboard oh, so yes now the pantry upload if i can work it out and get it edited together should be an eye opener and i have to say <laughs> do please don't be judgmental because everything in there was piled in there over the last i've had pretty i've had about three years really i lost mom and one thing or another and then with covid and this thing i shut down and depression and i've had quite a tough three three to four years so everything's just got piled in there piled in there piled in there and it's just got me down the more i put in there the more it got me down and i thought that i need to sort this i need to sort it i need to sort it and i never have but today and friday i did it and from the before video to the when i did the after video i thought it don't look much different oh but it does look much different <laughs> it looks honestly and the amount of stuff that i've taken out of there and got rid of it can't not look different so you will see what i mean there was stuff piled all over the floor and oh it was horrendous but anyhow i think we've cracked it so today i will try and edit that and i'll upload it for you uh and this is at the end of the day it's real life and we have to get on with it so anyhow enough rambling i will see you all very very soon on the next video and I'd like to just say thanks for staying with me. Uh, there's going to be good and bad days on here as there is in everybody's lives. Everybody's life, there's good and bad. And it's hard at the minute for everybody. But we are over the worst, I hope. The vaccines are getting done, aren't they? Uh, there's more and more being promised. They're on with some different ones now. They're on with the next lot of people now. Does it say 5 million they've invited this week? Letters going out this week for the vaccine, so that's good. Uh, so, yeah, fingers crossed, toes crossed, that we've done the hardest part. Fingers crossed, we've done the hardest part. And also, just as a bit of an update for the house, as you know, it's up for sale. I've postponed viewings on it until after lockdown because I'm just not happy to to accept viewings on the property uh with this new strain of virus that's out well any strain of it really but um at the first lockdown boris said that he couldn't view houses that were up for sale but he didn't on the last lockdown and he hasn't on this lockdown well i'm just not prepared to to do it i don't know who's coming i can't bet the people that's coming in my house if you have to have a a, a, a test to go on holiday or whatever then i'm sorry i need a test when you come in here as well <laughs> so at the moment they're on hold they're postponed at the moment they will be back up and running will viewings on the house after the lockdown and see what the situation is then and if it's a bit better situation then 
yeah the ones may be back on uh, but at the moment they're on hold which is another good excuse to give a good declutter and clear out as well so right so for now guys i am going this time for now thank you for watching give yourselves a pat on the back for being brave look after each other be kind and be safe and i'll see you all very very soon bye bye my darlings <laughs>